Well, I, I did it again. We needed another Trans Am project, Firebug Trans Am project, for the channel. And, you know, I've been hunting for a Firebug since we kind of lost the other Firebug that we put a small box Chevy down into, which was a Trans Am. Very confusing. If you're new to the channel, uh, go watch some of them old videos and watch the build of that car. It was very fun. But if you're, you know, a returning subscriber and you've been with the channel, for a while you remember that car so i picked this up very good deal great deal i appreciate the deal on it and i'm very happy with the car and i hope if you're watching this you'd be happier how it turns out so let's go over the car because i didn't look at it i just you know me i want it i care less about any problem it has let's just look over it i think we should start with the trunk or should we go over the body first what do you think shane what do you guys think? Go over the body, trunk. Oh, let's just look it over right quick. The front bumper looks decent. We got that big hole up, but a license plate will cover it. I see some clear coat peeling. The fenders have zero rust, but I think the fenders on these are plastic. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, this one looks to be a little busted. I guess they are plastic. Could use a little bit of plasky welding and then adjustment. We can handle that, don't worry. I might get a set of aftermarket fenders for it. I think you make a set with a like vents right here. If not, maybe we could design some vents. This one looks pretty good. The gap looks pretty straight. This door says Trans Am. It's got all the molding on this side. We're missing the glass in the mirror. That looks like it snaps in, so it'll probably be easy to replace. Quarter panel got a dent, looks like. A... Be a good video to make of how to pull it out. The rims, we got an aftermarket and some stock rims, I do believe. And a little rust back here on the quarter panel. Rust repair ain't a major issue. And you know, you've you seen me in many videos we pair with. We got the honeycombs. That's what everybody wants. The mumper looks good. This honeycomb's got a chip, but we could repair that. And then tint these lights and you will never see that. Saving money already. This quarter, I don't see no rust. We got antenna. I think the one I had before was power. A little rust down here on the rocker panel. This door don't say Trans Am. Okay. That's pretty much it. We got some plastic gouge in here. Let's pop this open. Does the key what? Oh, the hatch don't pop. Can you come lift up on the hatch, Shane? The back window's got sticker. Outlaw. And we got this. Ooh, and a dragon. It's been bedazzled. That's, can you pick up on that, Shane? You don't care? That's the tail that, Shane. Oh, it opened. I don't think the struts... Ooh, there ain't nothing in the back besides two speakers. Look at this. You need some speakers, Shane? It's got the carpet. Has it has a fuel pump put in it? I don't, I don't think it has had a fuel pump. I do not think it has. It's it's had a fuel pump. That's probably, you know, that's, I mean, is it bad? How we can we do that? We put an access door in it, make a nice one. What we got here, no worries. Can't see it once the carpet's got it covered. She holds a little water, she leaks. I gotta teach you leaks up here under the spoiler. Most of them do. Uh. It's had wheel bounds. That's deep. There we go. It has pulleys. What's this? It's had a power steering pump. Hopefully. We can let it down, Shane, if you want to. Thank you, Shane. Let's go on the inside. You want to check passenger out or driver or... Oh, I take passenger. You take driver. Here we go. 
Looks like it has a little silicone. Well, maybe that's factory. I don't know. Some door sag. I knew it had door sag from yesterday. Can you pick up and down on that door, Shane, on this side? If you don't care for us. Got new speakers. Oh, it's crank windows. I love it. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, the fiberglass is given on this door. Oh, it's done give. Okay. So, one door is needed. Probably got a door, though. We just won't use this door. Oh, what's in the glove box? Okay. I don't know what this is. But we'll put it right back there. Owner of the manual. Hey, hey, Shane. Have you ever seen an owner's manual? Look, I got one. I'm excited. I ain't never owned one with an owner's manual. I own some cars, but never a uh, Firebird. And here, it don't look too bad. We need this bezel. Now, I do got a lot of parts for these cars. I don't have a dash. I, I think it's kind of, you know, yeah, gone. Uh, stem wheels all there. Got an aftermarket stem wheel. We got pedals. It's, uh... Got a short row in it, feels like. It does. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Five speed. T5. Traumatic. That would be the one with the Ford bell housing that you can just swap uh, bell housings on and one a crutch and bolt it to a V8. Uh, pretty good. You don't go too crazy with horsepower. Probably oil cam factory would do fine. Oh, I need a glove box lid. This seat looks okay. Let's go check the other side out. Let's just pick this door up. So I need one door. Looks like I need a key lock on this side. Door's probably been changed. Oh, definitely have. It's white. Okay. Pop the hood. Hood pops. All right, dash is gone. How's the head mount? <laughs> It's doing this headlining. Front seat don't match. That's okay. Back seat looks pretty good. I got a set of back seats actually in the closet from the other Trans Am. Let's pop the hood. The engine was knocking in this. What they said. It's got a 4.3 radiator. No battery. It's been painted on. 3800 Series 2. Pretty good little engines. It looks complete. I don't know in the next video we should try to start it and then, you know, see what it sounds like. Or should we just pull it? Let me know in the comment section. Should we just go ahead and pull this out so we can get everything for the V8 flop ready to go in? I don't know. I like to paint under the engine bay. I like to black everything out in here. Get it all clean looking, pressure wash it. That'd be a good video. Be a real good video. Oh! I got a hammer. Boom. The car looks, you know, very good to me. Very good potential. I got it at a great deal. We did some trading with a little bit of cash. And I'm very happy with it. I mean, to most people, this is a big project, which it is i'm not gonna lie changing anytime you gotta change your motor or you're flopping something to a v8 there's a lot of stuff gotta change and it does need some work but when you got a project car and you want to do a motor flop in and you know you, you plan on painting it anyway and you know changing rims on it this is a good start this is very solid it's not gonna like well it's gonna nickel and dime you a death but it ain't gonna nick dime you a death as much as others would so it's a pretty decent start to a good project car to build now so the first thing i might do to it is put the ws6 hatch over on it because we all know that's what it's missing i can't use the ram air hood at the moment but the w6 hatch i done got it let me show you check it out the hatch is still alive it does got a bulk light 
and a wasp nest in it. But we still got some damage right here, but I'm pretty sure she'd be easy to repair. You know, just some fiberglass mold and take the spore off. Probably what we have to do. But this hatch will suit the car a lot better. So let me know in the comment section below what we should do with this car. You know, we, what do you think? What color should we paint it? Should we LS swap it? Should we 3800 supercharge it? Should we toss turbos at it? Uh, what should we do first? Switch the hatch? I want to know. Let me know. Because you enjoy watching and I enjoy making videos. So it's a win-win. Now get subscribed if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.